Hey family and frenzies, welcome back to our channel. Join us for Sunday dinner today. We are having stuffed bell peppers. Let me show you the ingredients we're going to use. We have seasoned salt, Italian seasoning, black pepper, Worcestershire sauce, diced tomatoes and tomato sauce. We have an onion, minced garlic. We also have some brown sugar here. We need some tomato paste. And also we have our bell peppers. We have some rice. And we also have some chopped ground beef. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that all of your peppers are level. You want your peppers to be able to stand up on its own. This way you can properly stuff them. So I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to do that. So the green pepper, as you can see, this one is pretty good. This one can stand up on its own. However, um, this red pepper over here, look at it. See the bottom? It's not really level at all. So you're going to want to level this out so it can stand up. So you're going to take your knife and pretty much you're going to take a small piece off the bottom. Just be careful. Make sure you're not making a huge hole in the bottom of your pepper or it's going to be pretty much ruined once you put your stuff in. And it's going to just fall right out. So just be pretty careful. I have a little hole there, but it's okay. Um, nothing is going to come through. So as you can see now, it can stand up. So you're going to do that for the rest of your peppers. As you can see, the yellow one's pretty much the same. So I'm going to just take some small pieces off the bottom and level this one out as well. And it's good to go. Okay, so once you are done leveling out all of your peppers, make sure you cut the top part of the pepper off. This is where you're going to stuff your pepper. Now don't throw the top part of your peppers away. You're going to need that for your meat mixture. Next, as you can see, I'm taking my knife and I'm going around the sides of the inside of the pepper because you want to pull all of the seeds out. Just cut around the sides gently. And you're going to just pull it right out. You're going to do that for all of your peppers. Rinse them out thoroughly. Make sure all the seeds are removed and put them to the side. Now it's time to start the pre-cooking process. You're going to get a little bit of olive oil and you're going to take some olive oil. And you're going to put a little on the outside of each pepper. You will then take the peppers and put them in the oven for 20 minutes. As you can see, I have already started browning the ground beef. I also added half of the chopped veggies that I chopped earlier. And I'm also going to now add some Worcestershire sauce. This is going to help add some flavor to your ground beef. Next up, you're going to grab the seasonings and you're going to add each seasoning to your ground beef. And after you have seasoned it, taste it and make sure all of your flavors are to your liking. And at this point, you can add your minced garlic. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please take a moment to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on our next video. And also, please click that like button. It will definitely help our channel. I pre-cooked my rice earlier, so now I'm just going to add the rice to the meat mixture. And now it's time to prep your sauce. You're going to combine them both together along with the brown sugar. The brown sugar is going to help with the bitterness of the sauce. This way the flavors are well balanced. Make sure you mix well. I added just a little bit of the Italian seasoning. I did not add any salt or pepper or anything like that because we already seasoned the meat and rice mixture. Before I added the sauce, I added the tomato paste, which is going to help bind the sauce together with the rice and meat mixture. I added a little sauce to the bottom of the each pepper. This is going to help give your peppers additional flavor. You will then stuff each pepper with the rice and meat mixture. This is exactly how your peppers should look once they have been stuffed. At this point, be sure to top off each pepper with the remainder of your sauce. The sauce will help add additional flavor and of course it will add the added moisture as well so that your peppers are not too dry. This is optional. Not everyone in my household like cheese on top of their stuffed bell peppers. 
So I'm only adding cheese to two. I like cheese on top of my peppers. So you can choose to add the cheese or you can leave it out. Make sure you place them back in the oven for another 40 minutes. And there you have it guys, your stuffed bell peppers. Absolutely delicious. This smell so amazing. I love the smell of stuffed bell peppers. Make sure you try this recipe and come back and let me know how you like it. Take care, be blessed, and stay safe, guys. Bye.